we're back for another video. Yay! Also, it's his birthday. So this is updates on us and also happy birthday to my hubby, Holden. Yay! He turned 31 today, so yay! Officially, happy birthday to him. Wish him happy birthday in the comments if you feel like it. <laughs> he gets embarrassed, but I love celebrating his birthday a little bit because he is the best guy that I've ever been with and the best person and he's very supportive and loving. But that aside, let's get into the video for today. <laughs> you start. Me? Yeah, you start for once. It's your birthday. Okay, for starters, mm -hmm. a lot of stuff has been going on. As you can see, we moved into the whole new room. Uh, finally, the roof is done! Yep. The room is done! We can be back in here again and we have a new TV. Yeah, well, that TV's been there. Well, most. we never got to show it to him before. <laughs> Pretty much. And it, we updated from the old square TV to this one. Yep. Yay! So we can actually one. play PlayStation. Yeah. Without yeah. all those lines and shit. <laughs> True. Because we had an old boxy TV, now we have a flat screen, so it's like major update there. True. Well, it works itself out in a way. It's nicer. Still, being back in this room, after you've probably seen a whole bunch of things about how the whole You've room seen our videos, that, you've so. seen the damage and that stuff probably by now, so. Yep, so. You know how bad it was. I mean, if you follow our social media, you know that I posted pictures where it was all, had to be all gutted out. They repainted the whole entire room. It used to be tan before, now it's white. Um, they had to gut out our entire ceiling and replace everything. <laughs> because the leak was so bad and then they um also had to um we're waiting to hear back on what they're going to do about the floors but we're back in here for the time being at least everything's dry and everything's better it's not small so it's fine to be yeah and it feels way less cramped than it does in our other room because this is the biggest room in the house and it obviously offers more space and more freedom to like move around and We've been nice because we've been able to clear out the other room somewhat and we have a major day coming up on the 30th, right? Yep. 30th where we'll be able to throw away all the things that have like made our house cluttered, like the trash and boxes from all the new things we've been getting for the house, including things like the box of TV came in, all our new furniture and stuff that we have coming and we have a new... We've been buying a lot of stuff for the house, let's just <laughs> say. we. We bought new dishes, we bought a dishwasher, which we will show you in a future video. We also um, got a new microwave, which you've seen if you follow our social media on Tumblr and our blog, um, probably on Facebook as well. Um, let's see, what else did we get? Well, we um, have quite a few things. So. We moved some of our tables into the other room because we had to put um, our dishwasher ended up being too big for our counter. <laughs> It wouldn't fit under the shelves in the space in between the counter and the shelf because it was too large. So we ended up putting it on our former wooden table that we used to see in here. Um, we also took the two-part bookshelf that I have to make it a sort of like island table in the kitchen to put our microwave and some of our other appliances on, like our toaster, our crock pot, and other things in the kitchen, which we will show you eventually when we finish cleaning out the rest of our apartment. Mm -hmm spring and all that stuff so we've been working on that too yeah pretty much a lot of stuff anyways so much stuff. yeah do you want to show them what you got as a treat for yourself today i got the pens i got quite a few things the mint the mint the mint oh you the mint. mint the giant thing you found yes it was awesome peppermints we show he found this massive thing of peppermints yeah. which is red bird red bird yeah. Red Bird handcrafted candy. It's peppermint flavored candy puffs. It's the salt peppermints. It's really nice peppermints. Like and we got them for only $4.99, which was pretty cool. It's the soft peppermints and stuff that were actually very good in the past. These and I they recommend melt in your mouth. Marbles anyways, too. Yeah. yeah, they're a lot easier to chew. They're fun. They're very fun. Chew it on the go. Chew it in a bad breath situation. Chew it anyway. <laughs> And after that, although today we don't have the AC on, 
Oh yeah, well. Be done with the AC on, so if you don't hear the buzzing or like the blower that you usually hear in our videos, it's because it's actually pretty cold today. It was in the 50s, which is pretty cold for April slash spring for us, at least where we are in Ohio. So it's just um, oddly cold for today for some reason. Considering it's been like 70, 80 so far this spring, it is very much colder today. Just the atmosphere is matching my own little chill atmosphere at the time, so <laughs> I'll let it be that. Oh, you want to show them the thing we got for summer we roast? Not like we really need we, much it, but we, it's one of those things that I wanted. So, I wanted it to, it's a portable cooler. It'll help cool off the other spaces in the house because our AC... Okay, the, problem, the current problem is that we only have one window where an air conditioner can actually be placed into and it doesn't cool the whole apartment. It, includes, it cools down just this room. So we got the portable cooler with the hope that maybe we can cool down the kitchen or like other spaces in the house um, for times when like during summer when it's super, super hot and humid like it is here. Mm -hmm. um, we needed something for the other rooms of the house, mainly the kitchen just because it gets so hot, especially when we're cooking in the oven or um something like that mm -hmm. so we were pretty ecstatic because we got it for what 15 or like 15 dollars or something i think wasn't mm -hmm. it yeah 14.99 so yeah it was really not bad for the price that we got it for and we found it at a store called ollie's which i know they have different branches of it but it's one that's like slightly hasn't been around too long in our area so it's pretty cool that we actually found it for that price like a super discount store nonetheless but yeah it's more finding like finding these is not like this finding one of these is pretty much hard to do at a low price too because these probably would come around 20 to 24 dollars too which is a or good, a all good the way deal. up to 50 depending on the size yeah. exactly these small things cost 50 dollars yeah that happens it's true yeah, though it's sad <laughs> okay well, next. um expanding wise and stuff in terms of us expanding basically how we're getting we're learning more and stuff throughout the time right now like with everything that's happened and stuff we've honestly got to a point where we're trying to learn how to pretty much drive and everything and oh we're yeah we doing actually the picked we up that so. actually picked up the motor vehicle laws so we can actually study it for um learning all the things and prepare ourselves for the written and practical test um, we actually have somebody who is offering to help us with the driving portion of it, but we're waiting to see what happens with that because they have a different situation, but we'll get into more of that in the future. But at least we know that we can try and accomplish it when we're studying for it right now. We just got this as of a week ago, so neither of us have a driver's license, just in case you're wondering. Um, that's why we need, we really want to try and improve on our independence and our mobility as far as being able to do things for ourselves and improve our opportunities, such as jobs or things, which leads me into the next part that he'll talk about. Pretty much trying my best with everything and so far I've finally gotten a little bit of a step toward the right direction of what I've wanted. Now, for a long, long time I've gone in and out of jobs and at the same time, I mean, some were good, some were bad. But I've gotten to a point where I just, I know I won't fit in no matter what job I do. I don't know if I'm, I don't know if you're like me or anything, but me, I'm sort of an independent person. I can stand dealing with jobs, but if I ever had the chance, I would get my own or make my own. So that's exactly what I'm trying to do. So far, I've got the cards. <laughs> and the progress is, is that he is, we're starting small. He's starting on just our local um, neighborhood. Yeah pretty much our neighborhood for now and area and he actually officially has um okay he actually officially has a logo and everything we'll show you the logo on the back but this is one of the examples of the cards that we designed for him it's called Lede Lons that's his official business name and he's officially registered so yay he's a, he's a business owner I'll show you this is the front of the card and yes that's his name no big deal, we all know this. And then we actually designed an official logo on the back of it, along with contact stuff. So he will be able to, when we pass them out, they actually have numbers where we blacked out the number for personal reasons. But um, we do want 
we are very, very excited that he has his business cards because he's been passing them around our neighborhood and in town to try and drum up some business and get started with the lawn care that he's actually going to be doing where he's cutting grass, he does, um, he uses lawnmowers and weed trimmers and actually has been getting into that to start with and then he'll get into other things as the business grows or yeah. that's our intention at least. I know not a lot of people have the luxury of pretty much having their own little thing and doing their own little job and all that. Hell, I haven't had that luxury either, but what I'm trying to do is basically pretty much go for it. I mean, there it's has to be... Was, yeah, I mean, there are times when you just have to go for it. And I admit, there's a lot of things people will probably pretty much say, oh, it's not a bad, not a good idea or all this and stuff, but... I just want to see where it goes because in all honesty and stuff, this is a job that I've wanted for me for a very long time and this is something that I'm very good at. I'm actually like, I've never been confident in anything I do except for this. This I can be truly confident that I will make sure everything is settled, everything is done because I He's treat very it like, thorough. I treat it both like fun and an artwork. I mean, you want to get it the best way you can because you want it to look the best way you want. And he really does a nice job. Like, I've shown you pictures and stuff on the social media of after, before and after from when he cuts grass. And um, he really does a nice job. And I really want to be show support for him because I'm so excited for him that he's taking the chance and the drive and initiative to try and start something that he really wants to do and is passionate about. And I just feel like this is so wonderful that he's actually being able to take the opportunity to do so. Kind of a pretty much big leap seeing as how shy I am anyway, so I'm not much of a t people person, so I don't really talk to them much, <laughs> which is going to make it difficult because I'm going to have to talk to somebody eventually. But, but it's good practice for you. Exactly. I mean, <laughs> whenever it all comes down to it, I will pretty much get down to it and do it. If nothing else, it's practice in the videos too because we're talking to the viewers. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, I also pretty much, well, she also got me something that's been yeah, like... Yeah, it was an early birthday thing because it arrived early. It was actually supposed to be for his birthday. <laughs> but it was fun to buy and surprise him with it. Because I'm a huge nerd. She got me all the huge nerd stuff, especially when it comes to huge Star Trek. I finally got this. He there are times really I likes can... the Klingons, so I got him the Klingon Dictionary for Star Trek, the official one. Yay, so, and it's the book. Honestly, pretty much. The book version, so he can actually learn the language. I... But he already knows some of it. Most of it I'm learning, so... <laughs> like I said, I was pretty much... I don't know why, but a few days, well, not a few days, but maybe like... A month or more later back and stuff, I had surgery basically and stuff oh, to get yeah. my wisdom teeth removed. Forget about that. All through that time, I could feel the pain and at the same time I was so numb I didn't feel it. He actually right. had all his wisdom teeth removed all at once, so it was pretty crazy. And he had so much pain in his mouth, right? Yeah. My and like, were we were worried. We, we went to the dentist to make an appointment because we didn't know like what was going on with him, why his teeth were hurting so badly. Then we found out all his wisdom teeth had to come out, so they actually removed it, like, the next day. He literally went into surgery. We went in on a Thursday, he went in on a Friday, had them all removed, along with, um, and then he ended up with stitches and the packed face, his face swelled up and everything. And then we, on top of that, we not only had that, but later that afternoon we had an emergency because one of his stitches wasn't fully so sutured, then, right? Yeah. Or something and we actually had to go back for the emergency and it had to be re-sutured like re-stitched and then cleaned up and all that stuff and get the little bits out that like was falling out and then he was fine after that but it took about a week or more for him to recover from all the pain and he was very sore for a long time and it was a disaster because our insurance also wasn't paying for the original pain medicine that he was on, so he had to take Tylenol and ibuprofen at the time in st place of that, nice. which was crazy. <laughs> but so thankfully, he is fully recovered and his mouth is healed. Survived with just like a freaking thing on, so. <laughs> pain on. is nothing if you're strong. <laughs> just keep thinking of that. Well, I don't know, but I don't recommend the dentist. So, yeah. Mm. 
Thank you very much to the dentist who did the job, but we're going to keep the name private for just reasons because like we just don't feel like it's right to like name the company and stuff when we don't have any permission to do so. I'm thankful that they pretty much got rid of the whole wisdom teeth, honestly. I it's am been, happy that they helped you. It's been like, it's one of those things that apparently, I mean, like, people get them taken out at a young, young age anyway, so. They from what usually I heard. do, yeah. Usually you don't have problems with wisdom teeth until, like, you have problems with them earlier than this. He had them out at 30, 30. so it was a little, like, later than usual. Yeah. And most, I guess, at least that's what they told us. But other than pain, she also got me the flag, so... <laughs> a flag, of all things. Like an actual flag. Let me hold up one end. I need to get a flag. <laughs> you gotta hold it a certain thing. This I know, way, this way. Yeah. I don't know if you can see it. We got it. We got the symbol. Stick and we're gonna have a way for him to hang it in the future. Possibly but, gonna um, stick this in the window and attract other Klingons. <laughs> to make our neighbors pretty much wonder what's going on when we're all drinking blood wine across the table. <laughs> and we found out blood wine is actually something we can order because there's an official brand of Star Trek brand wines that are inspired by the series and you can actually order wine that is like based on the show. <laughs> It's only a matter of time. We have to try that every though, single because it's gonna be fun. Oh jeez! So you hear that? We might have a Klingon edition in the future. As long as I'm not <laughs> eating gach, so yeah, just leave me out of it. Oh that. no, we're not doing the worms. No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't do bugs. That's fine. Uh, yeah. No. Unless no. it's maybe gummy gach. Get that for like children. <laughs> <laughs> Test it out on children first. Yeah. All right. Well, Let's show what he got me by mistake. I you know. want to show? What did I get you by mistake? Oh my goodness! Yeah. He yeah. tried. Okay, so one day I was really sick, not feeling well, and he was trying to cheer me up. I asked if he could get me some more candles, because as you know, I'm a pagan witch. Blah blah blah. Plus, I like my house to smell really good. So I tried to have him find candles, and he got me these instead. Well, he tried. Go and find them. So this is what happens. This at least happens once or twice a <laughs> time with me. So. Don't leave me alone the in the store because I'll get what I want and just mess up whatever they want. It was the first time that I've had him try to get them on his own, where he ends up with the wrong scent or something. So but... instead of candles, I got these things. Which are, I think melts. Wax melts. Wax melts. <laughs> you got me four sets of wax melts. I didn't have a wax burner at the time. I literally thought the wick was inside the thing, so I didn't um, know. For those who don't know, wax melts are little like cubes of wax that you melt. Um, they're scented, obviously, but normally you have to have either a burner where you put a tea light underneath and it there's like a bowl on top of what you light and um, it melts inside the disc on top of the burner um, and then you melt away the wax until it completely dissolves or is disappeared and then you do like one cube one or two cubes at a time depending on the size of your burner and it fills the room with scent kind of like a candle does only without the wick um, but the problem was is that I didn't have a wax burner to use them until literally Wednesday, which was yeah. ye yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> I finally gave in and bought an electric one, so now I'm able to use them and we have the strawberry one going. But um, it was pretty funny. It was mm. pretty hilarious that he bought the wrong thing. Well, wow. I kind of like it better than candles a little bit. That's because things won't catch them fire like our little cat he didn't catch on fire that's a he he yeah. technically did but he's mm -hmm. fine newsflash he's fine my problem was i had a candle on the edge of the table he is so on a side table beside my bed mm -hmm. i had just lit it went to put the went to put the, <laughs> went to put the lighter away inside the drawer cat walks behind me and i'm not paying attention because I didn't think anything of it. He usually is fine. He doesn't get close to the candles. He doesn't 
would usually get that close to the candles. But his tail happened to pass. He's so tall now and lanky, as you know. Um, he's been growing and he's really tall cat. Anyway, he is so tall now that his tail was able to pass over the side of the table where the candle was because I hadn't pushed it back yet because it was too focused on putting the lighter away. His tail passed over the flame of the candle I had just lit and literally singed it a little bit and the fur kind of burnt a little and charred, but he was fine. He didn't get burnt. He didn't get hurt. It was literally just the ends of the hair a little bit caught fire on the flame for a second and we quickly we smelled it immediately got him away from it put it out and everything but it scared me half to death because all I smelled was burning hair and it was like if anybody has ever had a curling iron or accidentally lit their hair on fire they know exactly the smell it is horrific and horrifyingly unique yeah. It smells terrible, but it was like, why, cat? Why of all the times I've lit candles, lit anything, you just had to have that curl tail go over it at that exact moment he's and panic really, me. He's yeah. perfectly fine. His tail is not like sitting badly. It was only like, at most, like, like no. this little tiny amount. Like it was the long hair, so it was like, it would be like if someone had singed their bangs a little bit and like it just disappeared or like melted a little bit but like nothing caught on like actual fire or fire but it just singed them a little bit and it made it smell but it more panicked us than anything because we just see these little black marks on his hair afterward uh, for like a few strands of his tail and i was like oh god it yes. was it t he's literally sleeping in a box right now and it's he's fine but it more scared us than anything everything on him goes back like Mean, so. He more scared us than anything. Man, he's so oblivious. I he swear. didn't even notice. He like didn't. we noticed, but he didn't even notice. He did nothing. I've never. He did not react or anything. So we knew he didn't, wasn't hurting or anything. He didn't meow. He did no, nothing. <laughs> we just singed and done. That's all it is. It's just it was like. Pfft. Yep. <laughs> it was like so dumb. I have quite a few things to show. <laughs> she does. I kind of went a little crazy with shopping and stuff, so I was having fun. And he helped out, so. Well, I actually bought a little dragon statue, which is adorable. I'm sorry. Oh, as, <laughs> as I drop it. As I drop it. Uh-oh. Oh, it's fine. It wasn't that. It wasn't anything. It didn't break, at least. It just... It's really, really cute. I got it as a tribute to one of the dragon spirits I work with, and I love it because it is so pretty and really cute, and it has really unique markings from the shop that I bought it from. And we bought it from our local store, so it was even better because we got to support them. And I apologize because I have no idea who's knocking on the door downstairs, but neighbor related, not ours, so. Yeah. And I also have been buying these intention candles. Like, I have one lit right now that is not able to show because I can't flip the camera on um, this because it's on the laptop. But um, I have a similar one to this one lit. There are soy candles, and they actually have things like intent on them. Like, this one's spirit. I have a money one lit at the moment. But I wanted to show you guys, like, they have these really nice candles at the store that are... Um, like this one, for example, says, I am spiritual and move beyond the physical into light filled with love, hope, and joy. And this is a spirit intent one. I have a money intent one lit at the moment to try and wish him luck with the new job. Um, that's just one example of things that I've gotten recently. I got a whole bunch, I got like three of those. One was for April Journey, one was for spirit, one was for wishing luck with the new job pursuit. And I also got this really adorable little owl statue and an egg and it's eating like a caterpillar or something. It's so cute for my altar. Um, I have these things all gathered up because I wanted to show you guys some updates and stuff. Um, we also found this uh, resin base crystal which actually has crystal chips inside of it um, along with Copper coils. Copper coils. It has a spiral on the back 
pentacle on the front and then a copper coil in the top and it has crystal chips on the inside which I don't know if you can see but it's really really cool and it's like resin filled on the out of the actual pyramid itself but I got it for my altar and I love it because I intend to put it on the desk when I get it um I have a desk that I'm intending to buy next week which will wait for it to ship and stuff and then I'll be able to have a better setup for it in here as well as we have a dresser coming for our house which is exciting because we haven't had a proper place to put our clothes besides laundry baskets in quite a while because we um, have been needing to buy furniture but we were waiting for them to finish the room so we can actually buy the stuff and we actually have the dresser on the way along with the desk so I'm pretty excited about that. Um, I don't know if any of you are familiar with the mobile game with the Arcana, but I actually supported the makers of the game because they have merchandise at this website, thearcanagame.com, where you can check out more about the game itself, and their, the company is Nyx Hydra, but the Arcana actually has, um, the game revolves around a girl who does ter- well, you can choose your pronouns, it's she, her, they, them, or he, him for the pronouns in the game for your character that you choose to play as. And you actually have a tarot deck that your mentor gives you in the game, and they actually created a merchandise where you can get a copy of the tarot deck from in-game with all 78 cards. That is a replica for the one in the game itself, and I actually bought a copy which is pretty cool and I'll take out a couple cards and show you just an example of one. I want to show you guys though this is so pretty because the cards themselves when you place them together actually have gold colored siding and they're really shiny. And then I'll show you an example of the front and back of one of the cards. This is the back. That's what they look like when they're all shiny. So all the G's about the light but it's reflecting really well. And then this is an example of one of the cards that you get in the deck, which is pretty cool mm -hmm. to me at least because I really like the game. It's a really nice, fun, simple game and it's fun because the choices matter and you get to choose stuff. It's like a visual novel kind of game. But I was more excited about the tarot deck because it's fun to have things that you're excited for that you actually like have interest in and like it's been a while since I've had something I really... what is everything falling <laughs> but uh, um but it was exciting because like I haven't had something I wanted the merch of in a long time as far as like actual like game related things or anything besides like a series or a game or something um it was the first thing I've actually seen that I actually wanted for a while so that was pretty cool and then I picked up some more chime candles for rituals I got, um, I bought 10 and then we got two bonus ones for free, so that was pretty cool. And they were only like, what, 75 cents each, which yeah. wasn't bad at all for it. Mm -hmm. And they threw in the sachet to store them in for free, so that was pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I finally gave in because I really, really wanted it. I bought a rune set made of red jasper. Just showing you an example of one of them. And it came in a really nice little pouch, which is pretty cool. And I was ecstatic to try and start trying to work with it, and I love it. It's made of red jasper, and it has really cute little beads on the side as well on the pouch itself to store them in. And I'm pretty excited to get started working with my first ever rune set. I'm familiar with tarot cards, Lenormand, Oracle, that kind of thing, but I've never actually tried my hand at runes, so I'm pretty excited to try something new. Hmm. Um, anything you can think of yeah, that you want to share? Your... What? Mm -hmm. Oh, I did a doodle today. <laughs> oh, yeah. On my hand. Oh. Ow. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I forgot about it. I got this lamp that um, is actually white and it's crescent moon shape. But it's a USB, and you plug it in, and it changes colors as, um, it's an LED light on the inside, and it changes colors, as you can see, throughout the day. I don't know how well you can see it because of the light from our window back there, 
but it's pretty cool because it changes different shades. It goes like purple, it goes like the full rainbow of, of kaleidoscope of colors, and it changes every time as the time goes on. You can probably see it on the glow against my hand, but it's more like... Yeah. yeah, it changes different colors and it's really cool. And it plugs into your computer, so it doesn't take any electricity or anything, it just takes Very the USB. Powerful. It's like USB powered. So like you can plug it into your computer or um, something like that and it lights up over time. It's just a nice little light. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, just to show you guys, uh, this is a webcam I bought to try out, which we're going to try out in the future. Um, for I use it for streaming on Twitch and I'm going to test it out for streaming on YouTube in the future. Um, it's nice because it has a shutter feature where you can show it yourself or shut it off as needed. It also has a built-in microphone and I'm pretty excited to test it out and see how well it works. I've been testing it on Twitch a little bit. Um, it might help clear up some of the graininess that you see on like this video for example. And it should be HD, so we're hoping that it works out for in the future. And it helps improve some of the quality of like dark content. <laughs> um, and other news, I got an appetite. No, you're not here mishearing me. It's actually what the crystal's called. It's just spelled different than appetite, like eating. It's appetite, A-P-A-T-I-T-E. And I got a crystal necklace, which I'm pretty excited about. I haven't had a proper necklace in a while that has like weight to it. And I really was drawn to this crystal and I feel like it's just has a really nice energy and I love it. I've been wearing it ever since I got it. Um, do you want to talk about you, anything else? You what? I don't know. I'm not much of a person who collects a lot of it. So, I mean, I don't collect a lot of stuff, but at the same time I do. Like you recently, love games. Yeah, well recently, other than video games, she <laughs> has been helping me gather a few tools and all that stuff that I can use around here. Like, oh yeah, you can show the drill. Yeah, I do. got the drill and all got that. Got a basic drill to start mm -hmm. with. Um, it's one of the motor really powerful the nice, This one is actually pretty good it's electric. Too. It's a powerful one, so it can, I've used it already to pretty much drill together a few things and stuff around the house. I'll show you guys the little helpful. stats on it. It also uses basically a charger like a phone. It basically charges and stuff. You put the charger in the wall and you, you charge it. it. And the nice part is you can change out the bits. It yeah. came with different size bits and it's stuff. It's not limited to different ones. Exactly. You're not just settled with one. You don't have to do that. And we have a, um actual toolbox set that's going to help supply with that and also help us with building things around the house and repairing stuff. Like we had a shower head that we're actually trying to install in the bathroom. So we're gonna work on that but um it has a hose and everything it's like an attachment with shower head with the like extension where you can take it off the hook and be able to spray yourself as you wash off and stuff so I was pretty ecstatic that we actually will have a sprayer nozzle on our shower head which is pretty exciting for me because I think it's gonna be nice just to have being able to improve its stuff and make it more homely in here is the best thing that we can pretty much do. Exactly. And it honestly feels okay because there's, like, when we first got it, none of the stuff you see and stuff, I mean, it was completely None of it empty. existed. It was, there's a, it lot was of a disaster. It was the worst thing. It was like you were starting out with bare scratch, barely anything. But honestly. We slowly improved on it, so. Sorry. No, you're fine. Right? I was just going to say, honestly, we started out with just a few bare bases. You guys know if you've been following me from the beginning. We started out with literally an airbed and a table and chairs and plus a few random dishes that we had, which was literally a couple bowls, a fork and a spoon each, and a coffee mug each. That was all we had to our names at the time aside from our clothes and a few um, other miscellaneous things. We went from being homeless to having this place and then it this place was such a fixer upper that we had to literally go in and repair so many things of our own and now that it's feeling more like a home because we've filled it in we have lamps we have the tv we have systems we have things that make it more comfy we have an actual mattress that we're sitting on which i will show you briefly we actually have an actual mattress that we use for our bed yes it's on the floor but we're also working on getting a bed frame for it to raise it up so we're not sitting just flat on the floor all the time 
but it's comfy. It's our space and it's making it feel more like ours because we've done so many repairs and improvements to this apartment and such despite all the troubles and stuff. But we've also repaired like cabinets. We've we replaced the old microwave that was rusting with a new one. We've literally cleaned this place from top to bottom yeah. and it just it feels so much cleaner and it feels so much more ours is the best way I can describe it. Yeah, that's what we've been trying to do. Because, I mean, we haven't really had much of ours for a long time. But... And it's nice because it's also consistent. We've had it for like three years now, mm -hmm. I think. So it's nice that we're finally able to get around to doing all the improvements we dreamed of doing. And in a way, the roof actually became a good timing. Because we had so many problems where we couldn't use this room for like almost two and a half years that like we just had so many problems with the roof leaking that we had literally had to move out of this entire room and everything else with it that it took so long to get repaired until we had a new landlord who just took over as of last October. They're very good people. They are very great. They are so much better than our old landlord. Definitely. No offense to them. I'm actually full offense to them, but. I'm not gonna get into that right now. But um, I am so much more pleased that we have things. And we actually got some stuff for the cat too, which was fun. We got him, we have been able to get him a cat tree, which I will show you in a future video. Um, you know about the cat bed and all this stuff, but now he's be able to climb and get up high. We have scratching posts and stuff in here as well for him to play with. We got him some toys, some catnip, a laser pointer. We are actually very happy and thank you to our neighbors who gave us a bunch of cat toys for him because he loves and adores them. Yes, he does. <laughs> he's having a blast. They gave us a whole like Ziploc bag of a variety of toys and thank you to my friend Kim for giving us that previous package of toys as well because he had a blast with them. He loves the jingle balls and the little mouse. He went nuts with the mouse. He tore all the feathers off of it. Yeah, he loves feathers. That's he it. is obsessed with feathers. Like, if anybody has seen my previous video, he also, do you also know that, like, the masquerade mask I had for Halloween, he grooms the feathers on it because he is obsessed with them. I literally had to hide it from him to get it away from him. Mm -hmm. It's just hilarious. Yeah. He is even, hilarious. We even recently got him cat grass, which he doesn't understand what to do with. He doesn't seem to know what it is. Like, I don't think our cat has ever seen grass before, but in fairness, we adopted him when he was abandoned under building. For those who don't know, he was abandoned under building about a month after we moved in, and we ended up adopting him when I had our previous landlord, who was our landlord when we moved in, and we had permission since then. <laughs> but in it, we've had him since basically he was like probably I'd say six or eight months old because he was under a year old when we got him and we've had him for the last three years and it's just hilarious because you've seen him grow and he's getting so big and massive like he is just a big boy now yeah he is lanky like I don't know if you know like doorknob height is like probably three feet he can reach that he can his paws reach beyond that when he's on his back legs like well beyond the doorknob when he's off we all well beyond the standard doorknob on a door when he's trying to reach he can literally jump to the light switch that you see behind you and he will we sometimes dangle our face mask on it when we're at home like when we need to grab him on our way out the door um he will jump up there and pull him down and switch the light switch off like he can jump super high <laughs> He has a blast though. He does. We'll show you more of that. You've seen his zoomies <laughs> if you've been following us for a while. Yeah. And slowly and steadily we've been gathering things and getting all that. Like guy got this today because I feel like in stuff in the You're future gonna need I'm going it. to need it. You wanna show? I'm working on more there than just garden being... trimmers. He yeah. wants to do like full on landscaping, so he wants to do more than just lawn. But for now we're focusing on the lawn aspect of it. Yeah. But it's also be nice because he'll be able to turn stuff around here. We also got this pretty. This was from the um, uh, shop oh, we went to as yeah. well. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. Um, I Ching coins, but he really likes Chinese stuff, like Chinese lore, history, mythology, and stuff. And we actually got some I Ching coins from the store, which was really cool. And they threw it in the bag for him. They're so thin. And it's just so cool because they actually, they were supposed to be like, 
what, 25 cents each or something, but they actually threw them in for free mm -hmm. um, because we purchased so much at the store the other day. Well, it was really nice of them. Yeah, you can. Oh, you can cool. link them through the center. I have a friend who understands these too, so it would be nice to show him in the future. Yeah. Oh, and um, the reason why I referenced this is because I got more art supplies. And they're a little messy right now, but I, because I was drawing, but um, drawing on more than just hand in his back. But um, it was fun because I got a whole bunch of new markers to draw with, and I actually got a new sketch pad to try and get some more, have more paper to draw with in the future and stuff, and do more traditional art, which will be fun to show off. That feels like we were looking for that sketch pad forever. Beware, because so many places around here have been out of all of them. Like, normally I get hardbound, as you know, like, normally I get hardbound, like, hardback ones and stuff. Like, ones that, like, are just, um, just, like, plain, hardbound paper. Like, I normally get sketchbooks like this. But the problem is, is that all the stores have been out of them lately, and they've been out of stock online as well. So I've been having a nightmare. I even tried to order them once from Walmart and Walmart sold them out from under me after I had already paid for them and then refunded me. Mm. All three of them. It was, I, I was so mad when that happened. I'm still a little upset by that because it's been impossible to get more paper to do more art with. Well, now we know what can go. Yeah, we know what place I can go, but even they didn't have hardly any of them. Still. Yeah, true, but at least you got something, I guess. I finally have something to work with, at least. Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely. But, um, do you have any other updates you want to tell them right now? Well, other than that, Maybe nothing's that. really been going on. I've been chilling out for a while and stuff. With Taking the whole a break. thing going on, stimulus and all the sickness and all that, we did recently get our shots. Our first shots for the COVID 19 vaccine. Yes. We got them at the mall over here and stuff at a store that we used to, well, it used to be It used store. to be a store, but they set up like a temporary clinic inside the empty space. And um, we made it, we had our appointments made and then we went in and got it. Um, forget what day, but uh, we go back on the 29th for the second half of the shot. For the second shot up. of it. It sucked. If you're afraid of needles, it's okay. The needle part isn't the problem, like, isn't the bad part. If you're afraid of needles, but you're not going to like it because the needle's kind of long. It did make me a little woozy and a little sick over the time, but it's like mm -hmm. only like a day or two and stuff. And after it recovered, it was more that was like fine, the but... spot was sore on our yeah, arms for like so long. The arm, my arm swelled. We up got the Moderna so. one, just for reference, mm -hmm. and like our arms were so sore. But the weird part was we had no effects for the first few hours. It was just over time our arms got so sore at the spot like hours later like it was weird yeah that was the weird part about it like i don't know no, what sure. happened but it was like yeah it was just odd it no was. i'm not showing i know i'm saying it wouldn't show up anyway so <laughs> no. but then we have to get our other ones and stuff i've heard stuff about it but we've heard we've had warnings from other people who already got theirs and stuff as far as like symptoms that we possibly could get and possible side effects like a fever or something potentially but so far we haven't had that we just were really sore in our arm for a few days thankfully we'll but we'll see what happens and we'll keep you guys posted of course just for full disclosure and stuff if it is as it is then it will keep me strong so whatever works but it's just trying to stay healthy we don't want to get sick with it we're trying to avoid that so it's better safe than sorry especially with me with my health problems and stuff um that's why I was glad that he was willing to get it and stuff, because I don't want to risk it. Catching it from him if he hadn't gotten the vaccine and stuff, or he was able to when it became an option. Usually I'm immune as a bull, but I wouldn't trust places over here right now. It's just Ohio itself. When I first, it's not even well, no, just Ohio. I'm not even saying it's Ohio. <laughs> I'm saying when I came down here from like Texas and stuff. You were a big adjustment was, because you're not used to this environment. You exactly. Were and stuff. Yeah. When there's nothing but heat and flatlands and you come to a cold and hillsides, you're going to be finding something. So <laughs> at least that's how I felt. And I was, yeah. yeah. 
practically a snowman soul. <laughs> he came in February, though. What were you expecting? It was snowing yeah. the day I, he arrived. I don't know. And then we had a big snowstorm that year, too. <laughs> it was a disaster. <laughs> I don't mind it though. I mean, we got used to it a little bit. Yeah. At least now you have snow boots. There and was clothes. Like, my family actually experienced the snow down in Texas that happened recently too, and yeah. they were surprised at that, which it was terrible because nobody was prepared for yeah, it. Yeah, last year. But at the right? same time, it kind of makes you think of stuff. For people who live up there where snow is constant, you understand exactly situations like that, and you're like. Well, we're just like, eh. Yeah, I mean, we're fine. <laughs> we're used to it. They survived and they got through it all and stuff, but they were surprised at the coldness. They even asked me and stuff at one point about, like, if it's naturally that cold up here. I'm like, yeah, Oh, it gets way colder. Yeah, it gets colder. <laughs> it gets way exactly. colder than that. You think that's like... <laughs> that's like nothing. <laughs> that's like a sneeze cold. That's not even close, but yeah. Theirs was like in the 30s or something. Like, we go to below zero. <laughs> There are days I want it to just be warm all day and it's just cold all day. So. Oh, speaking it's... of cold, not only was the roof a problem, we had no heat for weeks. That's true. Because they were working on fixing the furnace or something and like yeah. we, our heaters were not working. So we had to actually get a space heater for just the room we slept in. Yeah. And like it was a nightmare. <laughs> we had four weeks without heat. We had to use a space heater. And we got the space heater after the first week because it was so cold when we were having all the roof trouble initially. Yeah, it was a disaster. <laughs> it was bad. Anyhow, other than all that, mm -hmm. I decided and stuff since, well, I decided to just chill out and get some snacks today. I mean, I didn't really want to do anything for my birthday. I don't, I'm not a big partier and all that He's stuff. He's not anymore. big on celebrating it. Well, I'm old, so you know. You're not old. I'm older than you. <laughs> oh, well. At any rate, I decided to just to <laughs> give you some snacks this time around. And get? maybe, if possible, we'd probably have more snacks in the future. We will. More things like that. But that's up in the air. I don't know. Do you want to show your snacks? Yeah, sure. Everybody knows about the Bunch of Crunch. <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't resist. this. Sound. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Should put a warning notice. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Shake, shake, shake. Just don't do the same with these. These are these roasted salted sunflower seeds. This is huge right here. Oh yeah, this is a huge container. Of usually, look, look how big it is. It's as big as my head. Exactly. It's usually, like, I can only really, find the small ones. Usually, they're like tiny little bags of them. Here, it's really rare to find a big container like this. Good like, freaking pretty, plant. And it was like. Those. It was two forty nine, <laughs> which is really cheap for us, but it is but normally they're way more expensive and you don't get nearly as many. They're like the size of like show me that jerky thing. Well I already ate that. Show me the <laughs> container though. Like, well, I don't do you know. have the container? Well they're, they're like the plastic size anyway. Yeah, like this is normally the size of the container that you get for the sunflower seeds. Yeah. And not big plastic containers like that. I swear they're like three dollars and stuff. Wait, let me see both so I can show them the like big size comparison. Yeah. Just so they can just hold it up. Mm -hmm. That way they can see like that is how tiny it is and how thin. It's a little bit like yeah, it's about two and a half and stuff in terms of this, but it's yeah, but this but, is like yeah. this is about the size of the pouch that you get and you can see it's really thin compared to that. Yeah. This was two forty nine. I know that's a place how where much I can you get, would buy the pouch for normally. You so can get them over deal. there at three. Some, there you can get them like somewhere for three dollars or three ninety nine. Exactly. And you get like the little tiny pouch of it for that much. I did buy one of my favorite snacks in the world though. What? The Queen Anne cherries. Oh, the cordial cherries. Yes. yes. <laughs> These the are chocolate the covered cherries ever. with cordial juice inside and cream. Usually people say these are for Valentine's, but I say these are for all the time. So <laughs> that people normally say that they're just in general for things. Mm -hmm. like they're also a very popular Christmas candy. They are, reason. too. Isn't that weird? It's like it's you think, weird. I don't know, one person told me mints used to be a popular thing. Ew. I don't know why. I'm not a fan of mint, just for, for reference, guys. Sorry. Not a fan of peppermint either? <laughs> nope. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. 
At any rate, moving on from snacks, I also got these over here, which it's just adhesive hooks to pretty much hook Hang up the, thing. maybe this right here and stuff the flag. And we're going to figure out where we're going to put it. I really want to put it in the window so people drop by and say, oh, there's a claim on You could put there. it up there and then like it will dangle I, down so people I, can see the symbol. I thought about getting the sticky version of those and stuff. These it is. They oh. are the sticky version. Yeah, I know they're adhesive, but it's a different way of doing it that I remember. I'm just um, saying. Either way, it's fine. I'll figure sure. out something soon. Might have to. I mean, just this way you don't have to like, because you have hooks on the flag itself. Yeah, more or less. Just saying. Either way, I'll get to that some other time and just, yeah. <laughs> we'll show it off when we figure out where we're going to put it. And because other than Star Trek, I'm a big other fan of Star Wars. Mm -hmm. I was so little. I was. <laughs> he I treated know. himself today for a little nostalgia. I don't know what possessed me to get this, but I've always wanted an AT AT walker from Star Wars. He got a model. And even kit. if this is just a cargo walker, I could get a billion of these and be happy as hell. So. And it was yeah. ten dollars. Yeah. Apparently, it has action light and sounds, which. Wow. We didn't realize at the time. We thought it was just a plain model. It's sad because it says age is eight and up. <laughs> but hey, I don't care. Who hey, cares? Exactly. It's for the fun of it and it's fun. something you enjoy. I have I know people who are older than me that would probably have fun with toys like that. And there are people who like love models and all that. I so say you know is, what I mean. Age is not restricted. Exactly. If you have fun with it, there's no restriction with it too. And I wanted to show I have so many books, but I'm going to do it in a future video because I have literally a whole pile of books probably this tall um, to show you guys in the future and talk about, but I'm going to talk more about those in the future and I think we'll end it here for now because this video is already getting really, really long and I don't remember what I was going to say anymore, so have a nice day guys and we'll see you later. Yeah. Bye! <laughs> Have a good day guys and don't forget to wish him happy birthday.